Hey guys, this is Slow with the Polished Edge and thank you for joining me in my workshop today. This is where I sharpen knives almost every single day. This is where the magic happens, where I polish blades, hence the name, the Polished Edge. Anyways, uh, this video is going to be a unboxing of a brand new UDT1 from Medford Knife and Tool. I'll be frank with you though, I've actually already opened it up. I, I've held it a little, you know, uh, sliced some paper and I quite like the blade. But I thought, you know what, I wanted to share with you guys the experience of unboxing it. So I put everything back in again, so we can, we can redo it. <laughs> Alright, so let's just dive right into it and open it up. Now this is a huge box for such a small knife. But I suppose they've got like a template, you know, one box to ship all the knives in. Now the first thing that you're going to get is of course their sheet. It's a very nice, low-profile Kydex sheet. Uh, it's a fold-over pattern. You'll have the ones, uh, not for this particular brand or model, maybe brand, but you'll have those sheets where the eyelets run to the back as well, so you've got more mounting options, but they are wider, and I don't really like those. I like the ones that fold over like this. What they also give you is a Blade Tech, tech lock. Uh, these things are very secure, made in the USA. Now, I remember the older ones would actually have this kind of friction fitted, uh, this one's a little bit loose, but that's because they've, I think, changed the locking uh, method, method or mechanism where they've got a little detent over there and it'll actually just lock shut. Now, if you actually were to compare uh, the original blade tags with the fake ones, the fake ones, you know, uh, even if it's kind of friction, as you wear them, this claw will actually open up, but not on the originals, of course. Right, so you've also got your belt spacer and you've got actually uh, space here to put the knife in onto a molly system if you wanted to. You could put the webbing through here or on both sides over here I think would give you a more secure mounting option. Okay, you can, oh, oh before I forget, you can actually also open this up and flip it to the other side if you want a left hand carry. Now of course on Medford's uh, fixed blades, you'll have their MKT metal tab. Uh, it looks really cool, I like it. <laughs> All right, so that's the sheath, and now let's take the blade out. Okay, so you've got the dog tag over here that says, warranty forever in new or used original condition. So what that means is, uh, you know, Method used to have a, a very controversial rule where if you disassemble their knives, the folding knives, if you disassemble the knives, uh, they're basically not gonna warranty a knife for you anymore. Well, Greg's uh, voiced this out and he's already addressed it. If the knife isn't messed up beyond reason, he will still warranty it for you, okay? You're gonna open it up just to clean it, you put it back the right way, you put it back properly, and everything's actually okay, uh, and something else went wrong, they will warranty it for you, all right? Uh, Greg's cool that way, I suppose. Anyways, let's get this out of the way. We'll take the knife out of this really big knife pouch. Okay, so it's nicely wrapped up in plastic. And here is the knife. Now, I thought it would be smaller, <laughs> shorter maybe, but uh, it actually fills the hand really good. Uh, the scales are quite thick, of course pair that up with the blade stock, you know, uh, it, it gives you a nice full grip. It might be a little bit awkward at first, but you know, if you're doing like really light kind of tasks, not continuous type of work, it, it should be fine to use. One interesting thing to note is that uh, the chisel grind is actually on the left hand side, so it's a left hand chisel grind. What you generally would want from a chisel grind is that the beveled side uh, is on the side that you're going to use. So in this case, because the beveled side is on the left, it's actually more suitable for a left hand user. Uh, I know why a lot of companies actually do the chisel on the left side, despite having like 90 plus percent of the world's population being right handers, is because this is the show side, all right? This is where the stamping is going to happen and this is where you want the grind to be because it just looks nicer. Okay, and I totally understand that. Now, as a right-hander, I will be using it in this uh, configuration uh, where you'll have the flats over here, which means if you're gonna cut anything, you're gonna have to attack it at a steeper angle. You're gonna take larger chunks of things out. However, just one thing to remember, this guy is not meant to be a carving knife. It's not meant to be a bushcrafting knife, I suppose. It's meant to be a stabbing knife, all right? It's got a really vicious tip right on there and yeah, in a reverse hand grip, it does feel nice enough for you to actually stab. The thing is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be using this to stab much. I, I will be using it as a day-to-day -day, uh, carving, scribing kind of tool, right? Which you can actually hold like this as well and do your fine cuts if you wanted to. 
Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm of course gonna slice some paper. Now, a few things to remember, uh, to take note, is that first of all, I'm slicing from the flat side, uh, you know, facing this way, I'm holding it uh, a left hand chisel in a right hand configuration, and it's still slicing actually pretty well. <laughs> Another thing to take note is it's actually a really thick edge, okay? It's not a hollow grind like what most methods are. It's full flat grind, meaning you've got a thicker edge uh, right behind the main bevel, uh, which means it's gonna be tougher. It's gonna be able to take more abuse, but it's not gonna slice as nicely. But despite that, uh, we, we didn't do too bad. So it's got that nice wicked edge there as well, the wicked tip, and just scores effortlessly. <laughs> I'm not even putting any weight into this. You know, I reckon this would be a fantastic box cutter. Packages beware. Okay, so I've got some standard issue bamboo chopsticks here as well. I'm gonna do some carving. Uh, first again, in a right hand hole. Well, that's not too bad. You know, if I was trying to start a fire with this, yeah, I'd be able to light that up. Got some nice uh, feather sticks on there. Uh, the thing is, with that higher angle of attack, it's it's a little bit coarser than I'd like. But uh, again, not too bad. So I'm gonna try it in a reverse hand grip. Try to find the angle here. Okay, also good. So uh, <laughs> I know some of you would be cringing, cutting towards myself. Uh, that is not the safest thing to do, but I am controlling its movement. And you know, this is not how I sh do shavings anyway. It's just for the purpose of uh, making a video, of course. Try some pull cuts. Yeah, not too bad. Of course, another way that you could actually do it is uh, you just put it on the surface and you just pull the material over. Right, I mean, chopsticks aren't exactly the toughest uh, material to cut out there, but uh, there you go. So uh, I'm just gonna try and hack at this. All right, you know what? Maybe I need some actual proper wood, and I suppose that would be for a different video to really test <laughs> how this guy would actually chop wood. Uh, this is just bamboo chopsticks, it's a little bit too thin. So, there you have it, the UDT-1. Now, I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. I know when I was looking to buy this knife, I couldn't actually find any videos on it. There was no reviews or previews about it. Uh, all I saw was a video of Greg introducing this knife uh, to us at SHOT Show. So, uh, if you have any friends who are Medford knife enthusiasts or knife enthusiasts in general, or are looking to actually get a UDT-1 and they just wanted to find out a little bit more about it, share this video with them, okay? Uh, we also appreciate all the likes and subscribes you guys give us, you know, all, all, all the support, right? We appreciate all of that. Anyways, until the next video, you guys stay safe and stay sharp.